many sections are there? God, there are 17. We're getting there. All right, like the spring sunshine middle. Have I clicked the right one? Yep, 10. Our big sister from proper human history has awakened. Sisters, sisters, come my sisters who share memories with me. My true sisters who have lived since ancient times who never depended on the queen's magical energy. I seek your counsel. Through our, though our minds are linked, I wish to hear your voices. Uh-huh, I get it. Our big sister's woken up. Shame. I'd hope she'd just stay asleep forever. But now that she's awake, we need to do something about her. So what should we do? You know this could be a good opportunity. Yes, you might be right. This can't be happening. Our sister from proper human history should still be sleeping soundly in her safe haven. Yes, but the fact is that she is awake now, unfortunately. Then we'll need to go greet her. Yes, there's no time to waste. Even if she is from proper human history, she is still our sister. And you guys aren't? She was also the first Valkyrie, the one closest to the gods, and so she is the ultimate Valkyrie. Though we may all be demigods, her divine core is much closer to that of a true goddess than ours. We cannot afford for her to side with those humans. Yeah, you're right. We've got to go find her right now. We need to save her before it's too late. Having her remain with humans after she fell asleep is blissful ignorance. After she fell asleep in blissful ignorance would be cruel. Right. We should go greet her and soon, even if she doesn't wish to see us. If Brynhild intends to side with the humans from proper human history over our Scandinavia, we will need to show her how foolish that would be. You are such an adorable little creature. Fo certainly seems to like her. Does this mean she's our ally? Maybe she's a heroic spirit without a master who happened to materialize in this lost belt, like Beowulf and Billy. She doesn't seem to have the same magical energy signature as this lost belt, so I'm inclined to think she really is the Brynhild from proper human history. I had a feeling that might be the case when I first saw that burning palace. After all, a palace surrounded by fire appears in her legend. She was an ex-Valkyrie and Sigurd's spouse, right? Yes, exactly. I am also the one who killed him. That is why I am strong. Shield made in Mashkiriolite. Vaini Zanagi. I am prepared to devote myself body and soul to your journey to restore proper human history. That I am here in this lost belt means there is someone with whom I must do battle. The third goddess. I feel that may be something of an exaggeration. But even if it is, I am ready and willing to help you however I can, Vane. Go. Cool. On my name, I swear to you I will be of use. On my name. Your eyes are the color of purple crystal, gorgeous. You certainly are the eldest of the Valkyries, so those jaw-dropping looks of yours are thanks to the old gods making you themselves, huh? Thanks, old rulers of Scandinavia. Thanks for leaving such beauty in the world after you left. Now that I've come face to face with that beauty myself, I'm helpless to do anything but drink it in. I would love nothing more than to get to know you better, Brynhild. Foo, foo! I, um, I'm sorry. Um, you are the Emperor of France, yes? That is not what I meant when I said I would devote myself body and soul. I'm sorry. Ooh la la, you're beautiful when you're flustered too. Making beautiful women blush really is one of life's greatest pleasures for men, isn't it? No wait, that may have sounded really bad. Would you mind if I took that back for a maiden? Um, Napoleon, I'm sorry to interrupt your attempts at flirting, but what about Ophelia? Didn't you already propose to her? 
Ouch, you've got me there, mademoiselle. You're right, my heart does belong to Ophelia. I may be a man of friends, but I'm also a man of... Corsica? I don't know where that is. I think that may be why my spirit origin has these strange... quirks. What do you mean by that? Well, it seems that once I materialize, I can't help but look for a lover. No, seriously. Still, it's just a one. It's not like I'm going around hitting on everything that moves. You'd have to fight Fergus for that title. Whoops. And once I find my one true love, I can't help but profess love's virtues. It's a real burden, you know? Foo, 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 foo. I'm glad to hear you understand, Popper. Um, just one? That's right. Napoleon the Heroic Spirit only professes his love to one person per materialization. Okay, but what about... What about what you were just saying to Brynhild? <laughs> what happened to just the one, huh? Whoa, 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 hang on. I think you've got the wrong idea. That wasn't a profession of love. I was just being chivalrous. Just because I found my true love here doesn't mean I'm, uh, immature to other women's charms. But that's still not the same thing as professing true love. Look, I'm a passionate guy, and sometimes I just can't help myself. Whatever I used to be like, that seems to at least be the case now. Foo! Foo! Easy there, doggo. I'm not actually a dog person, you know? Didn't you say you were okay with dogs before? Oh, whoops. No, no, you've got me all wrong. It's not like I dislike them. It's just pugs I have trouble with, ever since my beloved wife Josephine just bit me out of nowhere. Took a real chunk out of me, too. So I've never really gotten on well with dogs since then. Oh, my. I didn't know your Imperial Majesty was married. I see. That's wonderful to hear. What's more, you say you have eyes for someone named Ophelia right now. Oh no. Foo foo foo! My my, I see. A woman named Ophelia. That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, you have tried to deceive women, no people in general, with love. That won't do at all. Oh la la, I can't believe it! I was only half serious! I never expected this beauty to turn her purple crystalline gaze on me so seriously. Does this mean... Your answer is we? Oui? Did you accept the love I have to offer you? If so, it would be uncouth of me to refuse. Who cares if these humans object? Two humans object. Ah. Napoleon just tried to hug a pile of snow, and now he's face down in it. Foo foo! Is that some sort of illusion? It does seem to be the case. It was Magecraft intended to interfere with the target's sight. As an archer, Napoleon should be resistant to that sort of Magecraft. Yet it still worked. My magecraft comes from primordial runes. Power from the age of gods bestowed upon me by Odin himself. Primordial runes, that's the same kind of power that Scotty wields. That spell just now was far from the runes full power. It was a tiny fraction at most. Even so, not even a powerful heroic spirit can easily resist their effects. Now, why don't we have the Emperor cool down for a bit? No doubt he was delirious from some terrible fever. Oh, I know. That must be what they... Been what they call spring fever. I'm afraid not. True romance is no mere fever. It does not stop until you burst into flame. Besides, I really am sorry, but... If a hero I'm sworn to love comes close to me... I may just end up killing him. Lovely. Good segue. <clears throat> I see. Then Sigurd is here as I expected. Yes, that explains a great deal. Very well. Now I understand what it is I must do. 
When I first materialized in this lost belt, I wandered it aimlessly without understanding why I was here. As I went around defeating the giants who attacked me, I was sealed away by my sisters, as well as a woman, woman calling herself a cryptor. From then on, I remained asleep in the palace protected by a bounded field, molded after those created by my father Odin until you woke me. Now at last, I finally understand. Fane, I must apologize to you in advance. Should I do battle with Sigurd, I hope you will forgive me if I embarrass myself. <laughs> when I see him, I'm quite certain I won't be able to restrain myself. I may even get so worked up that I can no longer speak, and my spear will grow larger too. Kinky. I will do my best to resist my urges, but the possibility remains that I may end up going into a rage like a berserker. So... Got it. Understood, Brynhild. It's great to have you on our side. Thank you. It's possible this Sigurd is not a servant from proper human history. He may not be the Sigurd I know, but someone else entirely with absolutely no knowledge of who I am. But even if that is the case, I'm sure I... I don't know if I agree with that, Mademoiselle Valkyrie. Sito and I said he might not belong to this lot belt, and I am inclined to agree. Napoleon? He still got snow on his head. This lost belt's been exactly the same ever since 1000 BC. It's a world basically designed by and for Scotty. A world where the entire human population has been locked down for nearly 3000 years. No one here has any desi desires intense enough to create an evil dragon like Fafnir for Sigurd to slay. What's more, there's no economy to stimulate desire. Hell, there's not even a concept of a nation-state. So that tells us something. Something about Sigurd besides whether he's from the Age of Gods or the AD era. At the very least, we know that in this Lost Belt, Sigurd would never have been born. And even if he had, he could never have become a hero as there could not have been an evil dragon for him to defeat. There you have it. So this is a world without heroes? Except for you and me. No need to get all mopey about it, pupper. Even if there aren't any heroes in this world, Brynhild and I are still here. Not to mention your two human friends. Along with you, doggo. And even that isn't all. That shadow border thing of yours is around somewhere too, somewhere too, right? A band of humans and heroic spirits all working together to restore humanity. You're right. Yes, they're all very dependable. It's been, what, four or five days since we first met? It's probably about time you brought your shield and armor in for a tune-up, mademoiselle. Since we've met up with the third goddess and all, now seems like a good time to head back. You said they were located around southern Sweden, right? That's right, the border is parked in southern Sweden, near Norrköping. I think we should be able to call them again if we return to the Lake Va Vanern area. That's near Village 23. Alright then, for the moment let's head back to the southern Sweden. Hey Valkyrie lady, how are you at skiing? Don't worry at all if you're just starting out. I'd be more than happy to take you by the hand, hold your waist, and show you how it's done. You're... You're rather amusing, Emperor Napoleon. But I can't. I mustn't. I'm sorry. Please understand, it's extremely dangerous for a qualified hero to get too close to me. Dangerous? Sounds thrilling! Don't worry, I'm perfectly delighted to risk my life for a beautiful woman. Foo foo! Napoleon, does that mean for Ophelia you're also... Of course! At any rate, you were talking about skiing? No, I am not very skilled at it, but worry not. Worry not, I am quite comfortable traversing snow. Woo -foo! Oh, hello. Are you sure you want to ride on my shoulder? The wind will be rather strong. Cue, foo -foo! I see you've got good taste in women, pupper. Alright then, let's get our new Grand Armée underway. 
<laughs> New Grand Armee moving out. Right. I suppose that was too much to hope for that it would just be over like that. Okay, where are we right now? The old Skaggergate Strait on a map from proper human history. That would be part of the sea. Foo! Oh yes, Foo, this is the ocean. Or at least it would be on a proper human history map. But around here, it's nothing but frost, snow, and mountains as far as the eye can see. Just like most of this lost belt. We've also passed lakes that are nothing more than snowfields now. Guess that just means there's seawater and lakes underneath all this ice and snow. Seawater in this particular case. It's uncharted territory for both me and Senpai. This place is relatively warm. It was much chillier up around Jotunheim. Oh yeah, good point. Every bit of this lost belt is still covered with snow. But the area from Ulsa up to, uh, Gadopujin had a lot of icy mountains as well. Now that you mention it, it was colder around uh, there than it is here. But it still feels strange to call this area warm, though. That's true. The word warm seems to have lost all meaning here. Well said. Hmm? Alright, I've decided. While we're doing this, we might as well make a little pit stop. Pit stop? Something like that. Besides, I'd like to find out much, as much information as, I, as we can. But since it's getting close to sunset, why don't we take a break right around here? <laughs>